I would do anything for you. Why don't you go jump off a building? Anything. Punch yourself in the face. Doesn't that hurt you? Do you want it to hurt me, Kevin? Smash. Hello everyone, welcome back to yet another Road to Elite Smash, and last time we finished off the Legend of Zelda series with Toon Link doing a pretty impressive Elite Smash run, and with Toon Link in Elite Smash we only have just 10 characters left to get into Elite Smash to top off our Road to Elite Smash series. Now our next character is going to be one from the single series that we haven't done in a pretty long time actually and have not done yet. It's going to be from the Punch-Out! series, and we are going to do none other than Little Mac today, as Little Mac is notoriously one of the worst characters in the game, but we're going to show you how he is good in this game. Now, these three alts are from the Punch-Out! series, or you guys, that's the Super Punch-Out! one, his Pink Hood one from Training, pretty nice, his Wireframe one from the Nan yes one, but this Green Hood with the Wireframe, I think is just the perfect combination for a Mac skin, so let's go and knock some people out. Alright, looks like we have Roy up first, and if you'll remember from Roy's Elite Smash Run, we actually faced a Little Mac. So, we're gonna go ahead and show you Little Mac's moveset. That's his neutral beat, and we're not gonna be able to use that just yet. That's his dash deck, pretty good, pretty good option. Up smash as well. Gotta watch out for that side beam. Roy having a sword. We won that game in Roy Elite Smash because we had a sword, so we're gonna have to use it to our advantage. Getting them is up tilt in the upbeat at late percent set. Can usually kill. Already we're doing pretty good. So, I haven't really talked about Little Mac just yet, but we got a nice dash attack. Now that's his F smash. I'm gonna talk about it a little bit later. We still live at 141. And yeah. Oh, almost making it back. And yeah, the one thing with Little Mac is that he is not an air fighter. His recovery is pretty bad. It's one of the worst in the game. It is aerials. Well, you might not see them today because of how weak they are. But his ground moves on, on the ground, those are really good. Down tilt in the side beat, proving that just as well. All right, and there we go. Nice free F smash already, and we're already a stock ahead. Just staying on the ground and not being able to interact with the sword will help us out a lot. All right, see, there we go. Nice, and that's his F tilt. Pretty fast F tilt as well. All the smash moves are either really fast or have a lot of armor to compensate for the back. And we have that KO punch. Oh, on the SD. I really want to hit him with that KO punch. It is a really powerful move and is easily Little Mac's best move. So hopefully we can hit a KO punch pretty soon. But let's go ahead and move on to round two. All right, moving on to round two, and it looks like we're off to a similar start. Get a nice counter off. That little max counter is really good. It makes him invincible, so a little bit different. And already getting a nice kill already, getting that SD on to Roy. So, yeah, I think maybe we're going to have to show Roy. Ooh, a huge counter, getting him a 29% off of just that one movement. Oh, unfortunately missing that KO punch. It would have been really nice. We get a nice huge comp counter to compensate for that. So let's go ahead. Almost getting with the counter as well. All right, let's see if we can make it back. Ooh, yeah, not really much you can do with Little Mac. Try to see if they can go out with a little bit of an aerial. But hey, and it is better than Smash 4, where you can only do one side beat, and then that was it. So, all right, trying to get for that down smash. And yes, he's again, proving that, uh, that, you know, maybe his recovery is worse than ours. He's already SD'd twice, and we've only SD'd once. All right, so a nice F-tilt as well. Let's try out that neutral beat. Really, really powerful. Unfortunately, we missed, though. It's a lot of end lag. But the thing with Max Neutral B is you can charge up to different arm. And look at that armor. You can charge it up to different levels. And already doing some pretty good damage. Alright, 130. Try to get him with that up to up to up e. Do you ever look at someone and wonder what is going on inside their head? Let him have it, Mac! <laughs> does die from that. That's a shame because we also got KO Punch there and just missed it and missed it in the earlier round as well. Well, hopefully for round three, we can deliver a KO Punch. Okay, round three does mean it is our last chance to get a nasty KO Punch off this Roy. Let's start off some up tilt. All right, does get a counter off this time, so can't just keep doing that forever. And another huge counter. He is not doing too well. There we go. That is the downward angle version of his forward smash. You can also angle it up and down, and we'll do actually 
different properties based on on that. All right, and that's up as well. So the angle is S match up like that, getting a nice kill. That's the highest knockback. But if you angle it down, there's little knockback, but it is um, do a lot more damage as you saw. All right, nice tech, but unfortunately. This little map is Uppy is not going to make it back in time. Still a very nice tag. Alright. Right, a little bit too low for that, so... Alright, we got Uppy. We do get him with a nice episode. Only one more. And I did really forget to mention, we're on the green spring stage, so... I'm probably going to do some funny things with editing later. And no counter off of that. We haven't done any recovery yet. Alright, and but there we go. Nice up tilt into Uppy. We've been relying on that move a lot. And well, unfortunately, we did mace that on the KO punch. We got some really nice moves to show. And yeah, we just couldn't keep his eyes off him. Well, when your feet are firmly planted on the ground like Little Max, you can do some amazing things and really pull off a nice Elite Smash win. Now, I think Little Max could have easily done a lot better. I think we could have hit a nice KO punch. It is really, really powerful. Goes through shields, could even be used in the air, and also do some insane amounts of damage, killing them really, really early. Other than that, I think we sold off the rest of Little Max moves set pretty, pretty well. Aside from his aerials, because, of course, they're not really that good. Well, I enjoyed playing Little Mac a lot, and it was very fun to armor through a lot of people and just kill with some amazing punching moves. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like down below, and KO punch that subscribe button. And I will see you guys in the next video. But until then, peace out, and make it a great day, everyone.